guys and welcome to today's weather forecast in this forecast we're going to be running the models on this potential severe weather outbreak that could be coming between the 18th and the 16th of this month so guys with the first model that we're going to be running is going to be the gfs model this model is known for you know being overhyped on things but what we're going to do is make sense out of nonsense and also get a more clarification and a more clearer view to what could be happening on the 18th and also could be between the 16th of this month. As you know, that's less than 19 day, 9 days away. So the models have been pretty consistent on a potential severe weather outbreak. And by that, I mean that we should be expecting tornadoes, damaging winds and also hail mainly in the southern areas so that's what we're going to be running in this model so let's begin to run the model and try to get a more clearer view of what could be happening so as we begin to run the model we do not see that nothing happens now begin as we begin to get farther out into the future if you notice on february 17th this low pressure in the area in this particular area if you notice this low pressure area in just north of Oklahoma is moving off towards the east. So as this low pressure moves off towards the east, this could be bringing with it a dry line. And if you don't know what a dry line is, it could be associated with a line of storms. And at this point, that's our main concern. The line of storms. This line of storms could be coming with severe weather. It could be coming with super cells it could be coming with a very significant amount of moisture as the moisture pulls up from the gulf of mexico and the desert air comes from the west which is going to be you know causing this dry line we should be expecting storms to develop between that so those who could be in this threat i'm going to call out you very soon because it seems that this threat could be growing as we continue to get farther into the model we notice that this line of storms begin to get more you know frequent in the areas of louisiana or kansas if you notice there's a lot of moisture in it this threat has already moved on from texas at this time so you can see this line of storms begin to develop and th as this line of storm begin to develop you should be noticing that we could be expecting these storms to get more intense so as we get farther out into the future this is when our main threat begins to grow in this area, you notice in the areas of Tennessee, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, those areas could be in on this. Because as this line of storm begins to move off towards the east, you know, it would be encountering more favorable conditions to, you know, support this severe weather outbreak. So, considering that, we should be looking at this threat mainly between the 18th, because in the 18th, the main threat is going to be around Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee, maybe even extended up towards the northern areas of Kentucky. So as we continue to move farther out into the future, we notice that this threat ends up in the areas of eastern Tennessee and also in the areas it's still in Mississippi but mainly in Alabama and Georgia and moving off towards the east towards North Carolina and South Carolina at this time so we should be expecting this significant threat to continue to grow between the 18th and the 16th of this month so we should be expecting this Guys, I advise you guys, if you could be underneath this and you have been mentioned, to please pay attention to the latest Storm Prediction Center forecast as we could be looking at this threat growing within the coming days. So those who are underneath this threat, I'm going to call you out again. Those who live in Louisiana, Oklahoma, maybe even parts of Texas, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, maybe even North and South Carolina, then Kentucky, those areas, you should be expecting severe weather as we get later out into this week. I'm going to keep you guys very closely updated on this severe weather threat because the models have been very consistent on this. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this, so thank you guys for watching today's forecast and today's videos.